This is Midday Medicine. Financial planning is important so we can have the retirement we deserve. But have you thought about the health coverage you will need in retirement? Today, Bob Gunia with Physicians Mutual Insurance joins us to share some helpful advice so we can enjoy our health in retirement. Bob, thank you for joining us. Thanks for being here. Great to be here, Chelsea. So the last two years, they've been pretty challenging, and many people are trying to seek some joy. Right. <laughs> yes, you know, over the last couple of years, we've all experienced the emotions of uncertainty, uh, mm -hmm. isolation, and anxiety. And interesting enough, it's the same emotions people have as they approach retirement. Uh, many people have thought about financially preparing for retirement, but they don't necessarily prepare it enough time in terms of their health coverage in retirement. And so it creates that, that anxiety, and they procrastinate. Uh, the good news is it doesn't have to be that way. You know, with some trusted advice and good education about the Medicare program, uh, folks will be able to, to navigate the landscape and make good decisions. What should we be looking at to ensure that we have our health covered in retirement? So when you retire, you can think of most people losing three types of coverage. So they lose their group health plan that they had. So they need health insurance, which is the Medicare program. Uh, many times if you're fortunate to have dental insurance as part of your group plan, you're going to lose dental. And then group life insurance is something that goes away. So it's important to look at those three particular areas and some product solutions in order to help, whether it's Medicare supplement, dental insurance, or a life insurance policy. So you mentioned Medicare, and it can be confusing to some people. Uh, can you give us an easy way to understand the various parts of the program? Sure, great question, Chelsea. And it's confusing because people aren't familiar with it. I think it's important for people to walk away from is that it's not that it, the understanding is not within reach. Uh, it is understandable. Uh, with the proper education, just as a, as a quick rundown, you know, it's the ABCDs of Medicare, where Part A of Medicare pays for your hospital bills. And if you look on your pay stub and you see that Medicare tax, or it's, you know, it's tax time now, and you see the with, withholdings that happened with the previous year, that pays for Part A. Part B is for your doctor services, and that comes with a premium. And so people, I want to think about the timing of enrolling in Part B because, you know, 25% of the cost is paid through your premiums and then the other part of through general uh, tax revenue. Part C is Medicare Advantage. So that's a complete alternative to original Medicare. Uh, it's a privatized version. So it's something separate from original America, uh, Medicare. And then Part D is per prescription drug coverage. And so that helps fill the gaps uh, and, the, and the expensive cost for prescriptions. Finally, is there any chance you'll provide coverage for our furry friends? Our furry friends, you know. <laughs> uh, so we talked about the coverage you lose, and this is, this is a coverage which is important. M many seniors, uh, they love their pets, and so a coming attraction real soon uh, is pet insurance that Physicians Mutual will be offering. So it's something that's, that we're very excited that's coming really soon to Wisconsin. Bob, thank you for joining us. Sure. You can learn more by visiting physiciansmutual.com.